Welcome back to the channel. I'm Tig. Uh, if you're new to the channel, then I appreciate you coming, giving me a look, giving, tuning in. Um, you could be at any other channel, but you decide to come tune in. So I appreciate y'all. If you're coming back, y'all the real MVPs. Uh, today is going to be a bit different. It's going to be different than the last video. Today, we're going to change it up. We're going to have a story time. I'm going to tell y'all about a irrational <laughs> and irrational fear I had when I was like seven or eight. Uh, disclaimer, don't judge me. Again, I was only young. But we don't get into it. Let's go. What is going on? Um, again, thanks for tuning in. Um, like I said before, the video is basically just going to be a story about, or kind of like a story time, um, basically of someone I was scared of when I was growing up. Um, like I said, my my, uh, my my cousin didn't really do do justice with it. My cousin and older brother, but uh, we're, get, we're gonna get into that. Uh, before I just wanna again before I get into that video if, or get into this video, um, if you can hit that like and subscribe, um, I would appreciate that. I appreciate all the support because because um, again, y'all are the real MVPs. Um, and I would appreciate the likes and subscribes because the more people, the more ideas I can kind of get as far as like videos to do going forward. But let's get into it. Um, so growing up, me and my family, we were particularly my grandpa, uh, big, big wrestling fans. Every Monday, every Monday, every Friday, um, even when ECW was going on, I think it was like Tuesday. Uh, always watch wrestling. It, it was always me and my grandpa. We'd always watch wrestling. Uh, we'd watch Monday Night Raw. We'd watch SmackDown. Um, and like I said, ECW, TNA, like you name it, we were watching it. And everybody knows, a lot of people know that watch wrestling. There's a big dude named Kane. <laughs> All right, now Kane's goes by Big Red Machine. Uh, he's the Undertaker's brother. So now, when I was younger, when I was like seven or eight, I was super scared of Kane. Like, when I'd see him on TV, when I'd hear his intro music, I am dipping. I am taking off, like, I'm not going to be there. As soon as I hear his music, that's my cue to leave the room. Like, just let me know when he's back, when he's off. Like, when that intro music came on, I was dipping. But, it's all scared. And as we know, wrestling, as far as, like, I want to say it's fake. Because obviously the bumps and stuff are real. But, they're actors for the most part. And so, or... Kane's basically just not a real demon or whatever. Anyways, so one, so I'm scared, scared to death of Kane. And so my older cousin and my older brother know this. They know I'm scared of Kane. They know every time I see him, I'm dipping, I'm leaving the room. Like, hit me up when he's gone. So growing up, they would do things like, They'd have a previous cut, and I'm me being as young as I am, I don't know any better. So they'd have a cut, and they'd tell me, like, I'd see, there's like their joke, like, look, look at this cut, like, uh, Kane did this. And when I said, I'm Kane did, like, when they'd say that, I'd freak out, I'd cry. Like, there was one time when it was my older brother and one of our friends, Steven, and we were walking, or they were walking, and they came in, and my, um, my, my cousin's friend, or a family friend, Steven, was like, hey, I, I got this cut, like, freaking out, like, got this cut from Kane, like, Kane got us, like, and when I tell you, I was bawling, like, I was <laughs> crying, like, Oh, I, like I was freaking out when I, when this would happen, and they would do this, 
constantly. Eventually, as you know, eventually as I get older, obviously I end up figuring out like Kane's not a not a real person, obviously. It, and so, but when I was younger, he no. When he was on TV, I was I was out, and I mean like like running. But that that was my biggest fear. Like Kane, Kane and Undertaker. Like Kane more so. But there was time, like when Undertaker would put a boy up on the cross. Mm. Like now looking back at it now, about t- like over ten years now, way over ten years now. Uh, like now it's just funny and that's the golden age of wrestling but like attitude era wrestling but when Undertaker would put people on the cross boy that I'm leaving the room as well like like I'm leaving the room like but that that was or that person Kane was yeah I I'm, I'm not having any business with that. Um, but that's, that's really my story. Um, it, I laugh. We still laugh about this. Like anytime the fact that I used to be death, deathly afraid of Kane, the big red machine. Um, but that's all for today. That's really, that's, that's really it. Like, the fact that, looking back at it now, the fact that I was so scared of Kane, like, it's just crazy. But if you can leave in the comments section, if there's anybody you were scared of, anything that wasn't real, like, like, for example, Kane, or if there was a cartoon or a show or a figure or popular figure that you were scared of when you were little, leave in the comment section below. Again, you ain't gonna be discriminate. You ain't gonna be criticized. You ain't gonna be judged. So I don't expect you to judge me. <laughs> but now right, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and in the comment section, let me know if there is a person or a figure or someone that growing up when you were young or t- little that you were super scared of. I know I ain't the only one out there. But in the meantime, have a good night and stay blessed. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,